Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And today we are doing our third podcast. And we have a lot of new questions, so let's just jump right in and starting off with Will the Reds and or the Brewers be in the playoffs? Uh I think the Brewers have a good chance of at least getting that wild card. I think the Cardinals, if they ha- make a big move this season, they're gonna be the favorites to win the division. Um they just signed Steven Mott, so that's a good sign. Yeah. And the Reds, I don't think there's any way they get in the postseason. Yeah, I um yeah, I happen. fully agree. The Reds will be selling for sure. However, it seems like the Brewers might sell too. Uh, a little. Putting like Hater their... on. Yeah. yeah. The are also They're also losing Osville Garcia. And I think that the Brewers have... Uh, the, the Reds are not... The Reds are going to be full-on seller. However, I think the Brewers are going to have a good chance to challenge the Cardinals. But I yeah, do think they're the favorites. The Reds were sort of like a one-and-done this year. They went all out and then they... They did not do... Yeah. Uh, I mean, they just were supposed to be rebuilding, and the rebuild did not go to plan. Yeah, I think they're going back down to that number four spot, even. Yeah. It, yeah no, no, the bad. the Cubs, yeah, they're going to be, I think... The Pirates might be good in a few years. Yeah, the, the Pirates are, have a ways to go in their rotation. The Pirates are going to be last for a long while, because their rotation is yeah, awful, they and pitching is everything. Yeah, prospects in like, the little lower mm. levels, though. Yeah, but, uh... We'll see. It's going to be a while for the Pirates. The Cubs yeah. could be back up as soon as next year, but it's doubtful. Yeah, the Cubs are still rebuilding from the mm-hmm. loss of all their players that they traded. Yeah. They're, the Cubs are going to pr- probably not be back next year, but they could possibly take third. I would still count on the Reds being the three team. But, yeah. uh, yeah. It's... The Reds have problems. Like the Brewers also have... So, the Brewers... Are losing Osvaldo Garcia, but yeah. they're and not they're losing a big guy like Castellanos. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, the time is about to be. Yeah. Time is up on that question. Uh, next up, I'll start this off. Where do the free agents go? Baez is going to go to the Mets. If not, then the Astros. Correa, the Tigers. If not, the Astros. I could definitely see the Astros pitching in an offer and trying to steal him. Uh, bat. But the Tigers are starting to look like the favorite. Seager to the Yankees, if not the Seagers or to the Yankees, the Dodgers are gonna try to st- take him back. Yeah. Simeon, I'm still counting on the Blue Jays. I think the Blue Jays are gonna go all out. I don't think they're bringing Ray back, but I think they're bringing Simeon back. Really? And yeah, if they what can't. About, what about Story? And then Story to the Rangers, if not them. This is a weird opinion, but the Padres. I don't think the Ra- I think the Rangers might go after Chris. The t- Padres could move Tatis to uh, the outfield like they did before. Yeah, but and do then they really want to do that? Yeah, well, Jefferson Profar is not very good, and they could kick him out. Yeah. I could see that. But, yeah, that that's... Uh-huh. And I, I think the Astros are going to take one of them. I'm not sure which one, but uh, they'll take someone because uh, they just cannot... Like, they're going to need a shortstop, and yeah. they're... And losing Correa is going to be a huge blow. I honestly think that Correa is going to the Tigers. I think I've said this before, but, I mean, the Tigers have a lot of money and they like to spend, and I think they're going to spend it on Correa. I agree. Yeah. And then for Baez, um, I think if the Tigers can't get Correa, then they'll go for Baez. Yeah, I I, I agree. The Tigers are going to do something with shortstop. The Rangers are probably going to do something with shortstop. Uh, the Astros are going to get a shortstop. And that's the thing. Like, I want the Cardinals to get a shortstop, but the thing is there are so many teams that are going to need a shortstop that yeah. the options run that low. are going yeah. to actually get The, the Yankees are going to probably get Seager. Yeah. And that leaves really, like, every team kind of had, like, every shortstop has a team that they're sort of leaning towards going to. And yeah. the Cardinals aren't even in the conversation for anyone right now. So uh, I think that like there are like six or seven teams that are competing for all of them, and there will be a couple that get the odd one out. The problem with the Cardinals is they have Uh, short stops. Who are the most likely trade candidates? Uh, Oh, um, I haven't really thought about this, but maybe Castillo. Castillo, Gray, Chapman, Olson. Castillo is off limits. I just saw. Really? Yeah. When? When did they say that? Um, But what happened to Castillo? He's off limits. 
I thought they said he, they were willing to trade him. Uh, no, they were willing to trade Sonny Gray, though. I know, I know they were willing uh, to trade Gray, but I thought they were willing to trade both. Um, when did, I didn't know that. Uh, but huh. I still wouldn't definitely call Castillo out. Because they no. definitely said they were Wait. wanting to. Let me check. I saw I think- an article a while ago saying that they that like Castillo, is, they're open to trading. Chapman yeah. and Olsen will probably both be gone. Because the, the A's just cannot compete in a very good potential AL West next year. Yeah. And Hater has recently joined the conversation as one of the big trade candidates. So I mean, he's one of the best out there. Oh, uh, Buster only said that the Reds are open to trading Sonny Gray, but they've indicated that uh, Tyler Molle and Luis Castillo are off limits. Yeah, that probably means that Gray will probably be traded, though. Yeah, that Gray's... Mean, I guess. Gray's going to another team. I mean, he's the best starter. And in- I think Gray's probably the highest trade candidate, but I I, I believe that Olsen and Chapman will yeah. be. Is Jose well. Ramirez a I think candidate? I think at I least think so. one of the two are going to the Yankees, right? The, yeah, uh, and and or Chapman prob- could definitely. I think that yeah, the but then again, they're really into Seager. Are more likely to go I mean, for Chapman. Do you know how much money it's going to take on Seager and like Olson? Let's say yeah, yeah, like that's going to be so expensive, and they, they have a lot of money. That's true. He's another one. That's an interesting guy because he has a lot of injury mm-hmm. issues, but he's really low. good. And, I think uh, that Chapman might go to the Yankees. I think, yeah, I think if they're going to take one, it'll be Chapman. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, they, they need game, defense. Cause... They need defense there, and the yeah. time is up. Uh, with the DeSlafani signing, how does that affect the Giants, Padres, and Dodgers? Well, uh, that hmm. definitely puts the... I think that puts the Giants ahead. Yeah, that yeah, helps definitely. the Giants. They have a great rotation in... Uh, that Silafani is a great part of that. Yeah. One of the main factors. Di Silafani or Di Silafani, I don't know how it's pronounced, but he yeah, is, Di Silafani is, uh, he, that really is also going to heat things up because with this last week before the MLBPA, I expect a ton of players to be signed in this next week, uh, including probably like Stroman is sounding like he's going to go. Yeah. That's just what I've, yeah. just, uh, 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 an assumption I have, and I think that this signing of Diesel Funny might yeah, it, it's gonna really it might trigger a lot of moves in that uh, yeah, it's gonna Western yes because game. now the giant like the Dodgers and Padres, and now Alex Wood and the Gi- is sounding like he's gonna go back as well. Meaning I'm pretty like, sure he already signed. Wood has not signed yet, but he uh, they're very close to, and they're also into Alex Cobb. Uh, and that means, however, all of this Gosman's likely become available. Yeah. Uh, like, that was someone they thought was going back to the Giants pretty confidently. Now not. Gosman is pretty available because they cannot afford to bring back Wood. Yeah, they just, they just, just signed DeSafani on a pretty big contract. Yeah, that was a big contract. Yeah, and uh, they might do the same thing with Wood. Yeah. Yeah. And that that just makes me feel like the, the, the Dodgers and Padres are going to be trying to beat that out because they do not want to be stuck in that wild card race yeah. against potentially the Brewers or Cardinals or Mets or Phillies. Or... I think that the Padres really need some starting arms. So The Padres have they... a good rotation. Darvish, Clevinger, uh, Lamette, Snell, and uh, someone... Musgrove. In Musgrove, yeah, that, that's a solid. They had some major injuries. I mean, they had major solid. injuries, and that's why they weren't that good this year. Uh... And the time is up. Time's up. That makes more sense. Uh, what's up with the Syndergaard and Barrio signing? I mean, I think it's a sign that the Angels might be taking the West soon. No, no the Astros still starters. have it pretty strong, but they could be a number two this year. I don't think so. Yeah. But the Rangers are going to put up a fight I, for it, and I the really Mariners. I don't like the Angels. I don't like. I don't, I agree. I don't think. I think Syndergaard. Like, they always take the inconsistent guys. They did that with Alex Cobb. When they signed Alex Cobb, that was a big risk, and that did not really pan out. Yeah. Um. Well, he was good. I, I, mean, they I, I just it. feel like they always go for those expensive yeah, guys. They go for they guys. They never work out. Everybody's thinking, oh, everybody rated. says, oh, they're going to win the division this year. And then they get below 500. They go for guys like Rendon. They went for Cobb and like Rendon and finally fell. they're being Rendon. Smart and Rendon was pitching, good. It was just still don't think yes, their pitching has never been smart with the managing, and I I don't like that team either. And I, I think, think this is a bad time to 
buy because yeah. the Astros are amazing. I mean, they are losing some players, and but they're still not to mention, really good. Not to mention, Otani is about to have a massive extension. His contract's up in 2023. Yeah. That's going to be one of the biggest extensions they're going to have to pay. And that's just not the time to go all out, and that's what they're doing. Yeah. And if it yeah, doesn't they- work out, then you're going to be stuck with massive contracts of Rendon, Trout, Otani, all playing, but not playing for anything, just... Yeah, I think that's what gets one. I think that's, that's the what's problem gonna with in the next Anaheim. decade. They're just going to spend a ton of money, and they're going to be bad, and then they're going to be bad. For and the Mariners a very are also rebuilding. Time. The Mariners and Rangers are. I think the two teams next up. I think the Astros could be overthrown, but it's going to be by the Mariners, or it's going to be by the Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, it'll be the Mariners. I think the Mariners yeah, have a very. Mariners. I am a much more. They were so strong. close to getting. And the we didn't even card. talk about Barrios. Barrios just got oh. stolen off the market. He. Uh, yeah. Rios was stolen for nothing. He's and now I'm gonna Tom add Brees. a little bit of time so we can talk about Barrios there because uh, we totally forgot to do that. Didn't uh, didn't didn't he like get signed for like less than um oh what's his name like less than twenty five uh he got signed for less than twenty million a year less than Syndergaard less than Noah Syndergaard which I just don't think is very fair. Yeah. And yeah. now the other thing is that also means Robbie Ray is probably not going back. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought that he was. By but. them not re-signing uh, Steven Motts might give them some money. It might like, give I them thought both money, Ray but. and Simeon would go back, but now it's looking like one of them they're going to have to cut ties with. Yeah. Yeah. And that's going to hurt the Blue Jays, but they're still going to be competitive. And what that means is that Robbie Ray or Marcus Simeon is just going to join that conversation as a full-on, like, available free agent. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be up. Ray as a, fr- as a free agent yeah. than um, yeah, Simeon. Yeah, I agree. Simeon's I- a lot. I mean, like, when you think about it, Simeon has better numbers at batting than yeah. Ray does at All pitching, right. even though Ray right, got the up, Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Uh, and it's Robbie Ray or Garrett Cole who should have won Cy Young. I think and I'm just going to – I'm only going to say – a couple words here. Ra- Ray, no question. His stats are just better. Yeah. A yeah. lot of people were saying that Ray's ERA was better, but Cole was better at everything else. He wasn't. It was He had inconsistent numbers. And I, I think Cole had a bit of an overrated year, to be honest. Um, yeah, Garrett. You yeah. can continue. Okay. So, um, Garrett Cole, I mean, like, he, he did have, like, some good numbers, but, like, his numbers weren't necessarily consistent because cause after the whole, like, uh, um, what's it called? The When they were, like, checking people the for practice. substances. Like, his numbers dropped a lot, and yeah. that shows that Ray was still good after that, while Garrett Cole, his stuff. numbers were so inconsistent after that. Yeah, he might not be the same pitcher again if he doesn't get to use those He's also substances. just not, like, a nice... I, I, I really do not like Garrett Cole. He's... I mean, Garrett Cole... He's a good pitcher, but, like, Garrett he's not... Cole has now been very annoying in two cheap scandal. I know, like, the pitchers didn't cheat, but, I mean, he was still on the Astros, and any Astro in that scandal is not innocent. They all, like, had some... Like, even if, like... And I'm sure knowing Garrett Cole, he was probably an, an ass about it. I mean, he is just a terrible, terrible guy, I think. Yeah, and then, like, when they first questioned him about the substances, he like, said, he didn't necessarily give a straight yeah, answer. He just broke down, like, he's like, oh, it's hard to say, like, what would it, he, he's just really, and then he also, like, got emotional about not being able to use foreign substance, like, as if it wasn't every single pitcher having to deal with it. Anyone's going to go yeah. against Tyler Glass now or someone. And he did. And at least, yeah. like, some of the pitchers admitted to it. Time's up, and... Do the Giants get Gosman? Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Who is the biggest buyer this offseason? Uh, I'm going Tigers, then Rangers, then Padres. I think the Angels are also up there. They Angels and Mariners are going to be doing a lot, but the Tigers and the Rangers. Are and I'm all. hoping the Cardinals. I, I definitely the think the Tigers the are. Cardinals I don't... could be big buyers, especially with just picking up Steven Motts. But. I, mean, I don't think that the Cardinals are going to do a lot. I think they're going to pick up some guys, but I don't think that they're going to like actually like make a big move like they did last year for Arenado. Yeah. 
Yeah, and uh, the Tigers are going to do a ton. I think, like, yeah. Correa, like, Rodriguez is just the start. Rangers are going to do a lot as well. And that these teams are going to be signing big, long, lengthy contracts. Because they want, they don't need to be good this year. That's the difference. With teams like the Astros, Yankees, Dodgers, they're all about to crash in like three, four years. They're going to need to uh, to be good this Some, year. Somebody's going to need to replace them, essentially. Mm-hmm. And the Padres also are going to be big buyers, I think. That, like, that to, for me, the difference between the, the Angels, the Mariners, and the Padres, the thing that, like, I think the Padres get the number three spot for the biggest buyer is just because they needed, like, they were supposed to be good, but injuries, they're going to be getting so much uh, death. They're going to need a better closure. Death. death. Oh. They're going to need a better, uh, they're going to yeah, need a Mark better closer. Melanson. Mark Melanson's good, yeah. but he's not that good. And they're going to need a better closure. They're going to probably need at least one other arm just to, like, like just an arm. Like, I think John Lester would actually be a great fit there. Yeah. And they're going to... They might not do a ton of noticeable things, but they're going to be rebuilding. Yeah, they might have kind of Definitely. a liberated, uh, off offseason. And don't get me wrong, the, giant, the uh, Angels and Mariners are going to do a lot too, but I think that the Padres are going to be a huge buyer. And that's time, and... The next thing is who are the biggest sellers this off season? Um, I mean, I'm going A's or Reds. Yeah, Reds. I, I'm also, going with the Reds. Um, I think the Guardians are gonna be sellers. The Guardians is gonna be weird because they uh, have a lot of young talents. The thing. Yeah, I know. The Guardians. Um, but that doesn't necessarily the mean Guardians that. Guardians have a very weird team because they don't have. A, they are sort of like the Rays, just not as good. Yeah, they're. They have a lot of guys that are just good players, but they just don't. Other than Ramirez, and Bieber, who do they have that are superstars? I mean, Reyes is pretty good. Fernando Reyes is good, but he's not. That he's good. not like the best. He's he's really good, but he's like, I'm talking about like. I mean, like, when you look at the elite players in the game, I just don't think Fernando Reyes is there yet. Yeah. yeah. He's a good DH and a great hitter, but... Uh, he I, hasn't made it up to that, like, superstar level. Catcher. Who is their catcher? Who do they have for catching? I mean, it was um, Roberto Perez, but I think... Is he a free agent? I don't know. Is or is he just a trade candidate? I don't know, but don't Roberto know. Perez is not that good anymore. Yeah. They're going to need a better... Ca- I mean, the thing is, they have heard stuff about possibly even buying this offseason. Yeah. And it, it, they're going to be a team that's either... They're like the Cubs. that They don't know if they're buying, selling, or staying this offseason. And that's going to kind of come down to the wire. Yeah. I think that the Reds are also going to sell. Because yeah, they said that they're going to sell Sony Gray, who's their best starter by far. Mm, Castillo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, one of the two. Yeah. yeah, those two are a lot better than Male. Yeah. And I mean, like, the A's are probably going to sell Olsen and Miley. Archie. They, yeah, they, they for some reason put Miley on waivers, which if they were going to compete next year, they would not have done. Yeah. And next up, do the Giants bring back Kevin Gosman and I- start now? I mean, I think we sort of went over that briefly where, yeah. I mean, like, the Gi- the Giants might take him, but they're spending a lot of money this offseason, so he might go somewhere else. Uh, Yeah, the Giants have spent a ton and are going to continue to spend a ton, and I think he's going to be left out of that. Yeah. I originally thought he was going back to the Giants, but yeah. I'm starting to think that there's going to be another home. And that's another guy I think the Cardinals could get. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm I, don't, I don't necessarily think that the Cardinals are going to spend a lot of money on Gosman, but I think they could. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I'd rather them get happen. Stroman, it's but, a uh, but no, that's not. Gonna I'd rather get Stroman, uh, just because he fits the team more. But uh, he Cardinals are in the conversation for him, I think, or at least they're at least a potential suitor for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't. I don't think they have been in the conversation of like putting in offers, but. I think Gosman's gonna go for a team that like needs a start, a good starter. Cause... I think Gosman could go to the Angels. Uh, I could see that, but and Gosman, that's in, that fits their rotation of expensive guys that might not work out. 
Yeah. Yeah. Because that's kind of what Godsman's looking at this year. And they always go for high floor, like low. C- but they're always overpaying for guys like, oh, well, maybe they'll be great. Like, maybe they'll come off their career year and do it again. They do a lot of deals like the Cardinals re signing Matt Carpenter that one year. Re- the- yeah. They do a lot of deals sort of similar to that. They're signing guys that don't really make that big of a difference. Yeah. Like Azuna. Azuna. Azuna Perfect pretty- example. Azuna's yeah. a good player. And, like, these are guys we're all using Cardinals as example because they have so many. But uh, they just go for expensive guys that are, like, mm, I don't know, like, coming off of career years and stuff. Yeah. And the time is up. And now our last question. Will Shane, what will Shane Bieber look like next year? Um, he's, he's, uh, he's definitely definitely one of the best pitchers in baseball. Yeah, he's going to be he's, one of, he's going to be one of the best. He's not going to be his 2020 self though. Yeah. That's he's going to be different. I mean, that was a long-term that, injury. Yeah, that was a bad injury. What injury did he that have? That stuff changes shoulder, you. I think. Oh, shoulder is bad. I'm pretty uh, sure. It was shoulder. Yeah, shoulder is a recurring injury. Uh-huh. And he was out for a lot longer than he expected. It was it kept coming back. And he, while he was healthy, he was good. Don't get me wrong. I think he's still, I think he's, uh, like, uh, probably like a top, he's probably out of the top five pitchers. Uh, he's not going to ever hit that number one spot though. Yeah. He was looking at, he was being like a number two or three pitcher this year. And now going to the next, next year, I would call him like six or seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. However, that's still a really good ace. And yeah. could could possibly be a trade candidate. Yeah. Uh. Well, with these next seconds left of the of the the 40 seconds left, we're going to switch to breaking down really quickly the Steven Mott with the Cardinals thing and basically really quickly, uh I think it's good if they can uh get someone else. If they just do Steven Mox, that's going to be a failure. Yeah, but I, mean, I think they also, will. I think they might get Strowman. They have a good shot uh, yeah. at getting also, Strowman. 11 and, mil for four years, that is not a bad deal. That's it's not, pretty yeah. good for Steven Mox. He's an underestimated arm. He could. He's either a really good bullpen guy to have or a solid number four or five guy. Cardinals are going for pitching this offseason. Yep, and if they can get Strowman, then you have a great rotation going on. If they can get Strowman, they they're going to have, have Strowman, yeah. Wayno, uh, Flaherty, Flaherty Schurz, Hudson. Not, Hudson, and him. And that's going to be a great lineup. Yeah. And that's yeah. the time. And thank you guys for listening in on this podcast. We'll probably break down the Stephen Moss trade for the car- pick up for the Cardinals in more depth next time. And, uh... Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on Friday.